We've been studying progressive pulmonary fibrosis for a long time, and it's a process rather than a disease. It's a formation of scar tissue in the lungs and occurs in a lot of different settings. Uh, probably most notable recently is in severe COVID-19, uh, but there's also a disease called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis where the scarring develops for no reason, usually in, in older folks, people uh, over 50, and uh, there's no curative therapy. People end up either dying or, or needing a lung transplant. So there's a, a big unmet need for, for additional understanding and additional therapy. We have studied for a long time a protein called Thi1, which we think is important in the resolution of fibrosis. It helps to basically clear up the scar tissue and restore normal lung function. We've developed uh, therapeutic peptides based on the structure of Thi1 uh, that have very good efficacy in animal models and uh, very excited about the possibility of moving those towards uh, therapy that could be used in humans. Scientists are good at, at doing science and understanding what the biological questions are and, and how to answer them, but uh, taking that knowledge um, to the point of developing a, a drug that you know can be stable in a bottle and administered in a reasonable way and, uh, and be cost-effective to produce and, and, uh, and uh, pass all the requirements that the FDA needs for investigational new drug. Those are all steps that we're not familiar with so much. And that's where the expertise of our team is, is really invaluable. Without the Harrington Discovery Institute, I think we'd still be doing more validation experiments and try to understand you know, how to get from where we are to where we need to be. I think for us that the triumph moment will be permission to move into phase one clinical trials and, and actually, you know, put what we think will be a, a curative therapy in, in humans that are, you know, suffering from a terrible disease. That's what we're excited about. People suffering with progressive pulmonary fibrosis have to struggle for every breath um, and they know the end is not going to be good. And, uh, to be able to you know, bring something to a clinical trial that, that offers hope of turning that disease around is, is very exciting to us and uh, what we're very much looking forward to.